on to my lineup. Big contributors to 92 Kills, its website and its radio programs are not to be considered as endorsed by A Better Broadcasting Media and A Better Entertainment LLC. Visitors are urged to use their own discernment to draw their own conclusions. We emphasize the importance of keeping an open mind and not construing the data, hey, products, and Samad, the Black Michael Wilbon. D Mac is here. What it do, what it do, it's G Jones. And this is the Funky Militant Hadar, and we are the Garage Department. And we want you to check us out each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 p.m. Only here on yes, 92 sir. K. Or should I say yes, ma'am? Because we don't discriminate here. <laughs> yes, day. Yes, day. It's Sunday night. Super Bowl Sunday night. A big game. Big game. Yeah. And welcome to the garage apartment. Sports talk with your favorite partners, favorite partners. Along with other things. You know, because I was asked. Do y'all, do y'all only talk about sports? No, we talk about a little bit of everything. Sports and pop culture. Oh, there we go. Sports and pop culture. Sports based. From your from your homies perspective. <laughs> I am, the there you go, there you go, there you go. I am the funky militant Adari. We got the tribe in here. Yeah, yeah. This ain't that boy got that yeah, yeah down I'm talking about. He don't discriminate. The other two gentlemen who, who have their mouths full right now, one is uh, the Black Wheel Bar, Ahmad. All right. <laughs> I got a piece of chicken on the mic. Captain, Don't Captain, Captain, yeah, yeah, that was that was D Mac. D Mac to hell. And then we got Mo Mizzle. What do, what do? I'm gonna say eventually he's gonna swallow and let y'all know he's here. I'm just excited Mo to Mo actually Mo. have gotten my bird to eat. You know what I'm talking about? We'll have to talk about yeah, that a little bit later. We'll, 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 we'll bring folk up to speed on yeah. that a little bit later. Support my black babies. Black Uber Eats. We must, we must. We are here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Those of you watching on Facebook Live, Instagram Live, we appreciate you. And the YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe. We are also on SoundCloud. Download us. Thanks for you on the go. We do this for you. If you have uh, comments, complaints, what else? Anything. I guess Insights. hate. Anything. We invite it all. We welcome it all. Insights. Insights. Insight. It's the garage apartment. Yes, sir. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So, fellas. Super Bowl Sunday. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Zero, zero. We currently have three minutes. Three and a half minutes in the in the first quarter. Pretty quick first quarter. The Rams are punting the ball for what the fourth time, third time, fourth time. I think the second. second. Yeah, second. They couldn't capitalize off that turnover. Right. They Brady punted it then, and bit. then they punted it again after that. Right. Yeah. And yeah, Brady this their third time. Guy. This their third time punting. So now we got quite a few things to talk about. Of course, we got the big game. Yep. Yep. We had um, another disturbing. Uh, uh, I don't want to call it revelation. What do I want to call it? Another disturbing accusation. Ac- accusation. We'll have to go with accusation for yeah, right it's now. Still an accusation. Another disturbing accusation with one of our young black athletes. Or allegations. Allegations. For those of you who don't know, what is his name? I don't want to. DeAndre it Francois. DeAndre it's Francois. French, which is very interesting uh, combination. Very that is where an African American person got with a Haitian person, and had a baby. A I red-headed know th- baby. Because I know the Haitian person didn't say, I will name him DeAndre. And <laughs> 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 no, DeAndre is walking to Port-au-Prince. Yeah, if, 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 if he was really Haitian, he'd have been named Francois Francois. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Mabutu. So uh, he, we have name that. baby DeAndre. He he has, for those of you who don't know, he has been dismissed from Florida State. Uh, as uh, Which makes it a lot harder to say, allegedly. Well, 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 no, no, no. They, they might have a zero. I watched the video. A zero talent. The video of the sound. Yeah, of the sound. And there was no, okay, this is exactly what we said we weren't going to do. <laughs> so, in the video, if those that don't know, 
It is a recording of <laughs> a verbal altercation. Possibly Definitely, a physical, but we don't have any evidence. Possibly a physical right? altercation between the quarterback DeAndre Francois, Francois. and his and a lady friend. That, I like the way you put his that. Girlfriend, you okay, I didn't know for sure, so I didn't want to just hop out that bullet. His girlfriend and or lady friend. There's nothing visual. You can't see anything. There's a few um, statements being made that might lead one to believe that there was something physical going on. Yeah. It's the same girl from before. If you all remember the 911 call mm-hmm. where he was saying she's tearing up all my stuff. I don't remember that at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. I listened to that again this morning. He you can probably pull it up on YouTube phone. and play it for the people. But, uh, uh, yeah, th- there was an altercation, what, two years ago or so? I mean, th- they have a history. Uh, you know, it's just two young people who <laughs> really Probably shouldn't need to break up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just passion. They're in love with making up. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking about. You know, when you're young you break and you argue, up. and then you make up, and you know how that is. And then you know, yeah. she likes to fight too, apparently. So she's probably got her own issues. And those kind of girls are usually very fun. <laughs> oh <laughs> wow! Crazy. Until you fun. get the Shad Moss treatment. Yeah. Oh God, that guy. Shout out to Bow and, and, and we'll get a net in a second. Yeah, he got into a Baraka. <laughs> <laughs> and so, <Street> <laughs> those of you who who do follow us on 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 Twitter, the 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 video, the audio to the clip is actually on our Twitter. It's trend. on the Facebook too. It's on the Facebook, mm-hmm. so be sure to check it out from there. So now, there we go. I'm cause since you brought up Shad Moss. And it's 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 some somewhat related to uh, DeAndre because I've been seeing on on a lot of social media a lot of people teasing Shad Moss, aka Bow Wow, aka Lil Bow Wow, aka Mr. One Hundred Six in Park, aka <laughs> aka on Paru <laughs> <laughs> about him uh, getting beat up by his ex girlfriend. And then it was like, well, see, that's that unfair stuff right there. Because if he'd actually fought her back, he'd be a woman beater. Yeah, but he didn't have to stand there and take all those shots. He did not have to get chicken scratch like that. But he also got arrested, right? He did yes, get arrested. So he did something. Well, I mean, they gon' they usually being both a male. Of them get arrested, though? Usually yes, getting a male. Both of them got arrested for a usually, mutual combat situation. Yes, yeah, usually being a um, usually being a male and being involved in a physical altercation with a woman, whether you are the aggressor or not, they usually tend to arrest the male. Now, is that always the case? Of course not. But it usually that's usually how it occurs. But no, so I saw people teasing Bow Wow about not hitting her back and 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 looking at the mug shot looked like he got the worst end of the altercation. The rough forehead there, rough forehead. Yeah, he has quite a few scratches, quite a few blemishes. Forehead looked like hacksaw Jim Duggan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looked like he got. Uh, it looked like blading. he got in a fight with uh, uh, Freddy Krueger. Yeah, That's what it looked <laughs> like. You know, you know the wrestlers be blading. He got a fight with a mountain lion. That's what he looked like. He got a fight. But uh, and yeah, so a lot of people were giving him. The business about getting beat up by a girl, but then I'm like, see, that's that, that's that fork tongue. People talking in fork tongue, and that's actually the same attitude that contributes to uh, fumble. Uh, oh, they recovered they the ball. Back. They recovered it. Patriots back. recovered hey, the you, ball. You, 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 that's the one, second turnover. Though. One thing about Patriots well, offensive linemen though <coughs> that I've noticed, they jump on that damn ball. They know. Every time there's a fumble in the back, they well, because they know losing. they know Tom Brady can't run, so they need to be looking after a while. No, like, but, but they do better than anybody. Like, well, because c- th- like you said, we know that Tom Brady is by far one of the fastest releases in the NFL. So they know if the ball is not out in three seconds, you better be you better be looking because something is about to happen. Because he's not going to scramble, which means the ball is probably on the ground. So yes, they turn around looking for the ball. But back to Shad Moss. So. Uh, oh, Gronkowski Gronk, is just Gronk, Gronkowski Gronk is just Gronk. a big old just a big engine, just train just engine, just monster. 
But see, with Shad Moss, I wasn't making fun of him for not standing toe to toe and fighting. The no, no, I don't believe that I you were. I'm for saying not moving out the way. Right. I'm seeing a lot of people you who can at least really, run from him. They really giving him flack yeah. about yeah. about about his mugshot, about him looking like he he got beat up. But then it was like, so if he had fought her, mm-hmm. and if if and if her mugshot looked like his did, right, we all be calling for. His music yeah, to be removed, and you know Chris this, Brown. that, and the other. Yeah, he be the new Chris Brown. Although Chris Brown has somehow was, found a way. Man, to is he out of France? Yes, he got jo- charges were dropped or not even brought up. Yeah, he they had an in investigation and charges were not brought up, and he was allowed to the. Hey, that's all you. He was allowed to leave. So, Ooh. so, so there they got Aaron him. Donald. They arrested him, took his passport, and all of a sudden was like, "My bad." Yep. Yeah, they said after while while conducting the, the investigation, they realized that there were several uh, holes in her story, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> which is what you want them to do. You that want them true. to investigate. That you is definitely true. do. Um, but it was a straight rush. To they could do that while I'm in the U.S. However, but I got gotcha, you. That's the one thing about the internet that's come crazy is the rush to judgment. Excuse me. The and to make the judgment guilty. that they make. Very much so. So they had already convicted Chris Brown. And then Shad Moss, the biggest punk in the world, and then we're already convicting DeAndre. For, I mean, he was already kicked yeah, off he was just because of the optics off. and the visual and just the way it sounded. But I just heard the girl saying, "Stop hitting me!" And then, like Hadari said, "Dumbo, I'm gonna hit you every time." <laughs> yeah, it was like he took the bait all the way. But I would think that if some little girl, a little young lady, and uh, I'm not gonna give out her uh, her Instagram, but you can find it. She's got a bunch of followers, and she's called Dime something. Uh-oh. So I'm pretty sure what kind of page it is. Kind of pretty sure to know yeah, what she's doing for her book. She's from Florida? I know, right? Where hmm? the, where is she from Florida? From? That part I don't know. Because if but she's from Florida, then that explains it all. Yeah, she's a student at Florida State, though. Uh, but, um, I mean, it's just it, it's, it, it's ridiculous. ridiculous, man. I would think that if she was getting hit in the face by a uh, uh, a Division One college athlete, she wouldn't have time to say "stop hitting me in the face," but that's just me. Especially if it's with the intent to hurt. Yeah, but 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 on the, on the positive side, last chance you gonna be lit. <laughs> the new season. Which one that's is? Oh, I was it's like, because that's where he's going. Is that where he's going? Does he, he go to go D2, man. Remember the other DeAndre? He needs to go to FAMU. He's going to go to Florida A&M. He's going to go to Florida A&M, bro. Yeah, he should. He's quarter- from Louisiana, though. Yeah, he, he, he oh, might go to Southern. Southern. He might go to Southern. 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 Yeah, 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 or go Grambling. Go to Grambling. Quarterbacks named DeAndre. These girls in, in Tallahassee need to stop messing with him. Because <laughs> the other guy who went to Last Chance U, his name was DeAndre what? Uh, I don't know. DeAndre something, but yeah. But, you know, remember, he stole the girl. From where? From Florida State, the one who stole the girl's Yeah, bar. I'm talking about he oh, he, uh, he rearranged her face yeah, so bombs. Oh, and they had the whole videotape of that one, and it went a little. Yeah, that one was. Yeah. He needed to go very, very quick. I mean, he did, but, you know, she was. She was, yeah, she was out of culpable. Pocket. But you have to you walk have away. You have to show restraint. Young men, you Some have to walk away from that. people. Because you will go, you will get locked up and you'll be branded that, and that's like a scarlet letter. Physical right? contact is not the answer. This is from the garage apartment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's news you can use. <laughs> <laughs> the, more that, the more you know. The more you know. <laughs> that's just insane. Oh, man. And there's no reason for that. But. That means uh, that other garbage dude they got at Florida State. What's his name? No, the little youngster, he all right. Is he all right? Yeah, he goes, uh, yeah. I figure somebody will be transferring in now. The question is, ooh, what is Willie Talbot going to do now? Get fired. Which I was going to say, like, <laughs> like Lord. Geez, Get geez. fired. <laughs> they already was looking, but now you got your athletes getting in trouble too. You boy, you, you are on your way. Yeah. You got to win nine games. I think he got to win more than nine games. Yeah, he, he's gonna have to you got to win the ACC. Season. You got to. He can't beat Clemson, bro. I know. That's what I'm saying. He going to have to beat. He going to have to. Ooh, we, man. Because how many did he lose this year? Ooh, a lot. They didn't, they, won with three? They they, didn't make a bowl game. Yeah, they didn't make they, they So he lost at least seven, right? Yeah. yeah. It's James Blackman. Yeah. That's the quarterback? That's who's, that's who's the heir apparent. Mm. Unless uh, they have another young man named. Alex Alasami. Ah. 
I don't think they expected him to play. <laughs> <laughs> I can look at him and tell. Oh, man. He's being groomed to be a coach. Didn't Kelly Bryant say he wanted to leave now that they suspended? And then he said he didn't want to leave anymore. Now he can leave again. Huh? Kelly Bryant from Clemson went to Missouri. Oh, yeah, Missouri yeah, Missouri yeah, yeah. got suspended, so they can't do yeah, nothing. Yeah, but he said – oh, so And we, he said he wanted to go back. And we he also, said he wanted to leave. We also tweeted that. Uh, he says he's going to stay. Yeah, I know. Well, now you got a starting job somewhere else, brother. Right down the street. Something else open up. Well, that's true. Top facilities and everything. Are you are you insinuating? Because hey, you know, hey. as of right now, we're doing pretty good on these predicting yes, things. We are. I must say, because the Black is. Will Bond, Mr. Ahmad <laughs> here, he predicted that Jalen Jalen Hurts would be transferring to Oklahoma, and it has come into fruition. Yeah. So now, are we saying that Kelly Bryant will now? Transfer to the Florida State University? I don't know, because has Fuck Justin it. Fields picked a place yet? From, From Georgia. Backup quarterback at Georgia, five-star oh, recruit. Wasn't he supposed to be going to Ohio State? Oh, well, did I get that back? That's what they said, but, I, but, but, but yeah, he because the Haskins go is going to the league. And so yeah, he, is. And he transferred over there, though, right? From he, Georgia? Okay, yeah. so he already transferred now to I would Ohio say he State. transferred okay. to Ohio State. Okay, good. Well, hell. Okay. Well, book it, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is crazy because, like, Oklahoma doesn't even have to recruit. They haven't recruited a quarterback in quite some time. They, uh, they, and they've had the two started. pass Heisman Trophy winners. Mm -hmm. and Both transfers. Both, yes. Both from of them Texas were transfers. school. Yes. Both of them were transfers from they, Texas. And UT got none of them. <laughs> none of them. How does that happen? Well, they, they're Because they got baby coked. Oh, well, geez. no, because, <laughs> because at the time they had Mr. Uh, What's my boy over there in South Florida now? Charlie. 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 Uncle Charlie. They had Uncle that Charlie That had nothing to do with Jalen Hurts? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. And he went to the rival. Uh, no, he didn't. He went to the powerhouse. Yeah, yeah, he went to the powerhouse. <laughs> he went to the powerhouse. Um, also known as Texas is right. You know, it's funny, though, because, you know, I keep up I, c I keep up pretty well with local local high school football, and Jalen Hurts was never on my radar, so I don't really know how he did that anyway. Well, no, that's just because Channel View is not – Channel View is not a historic program. This is true. But trust me, when, the, when, when folks are out here tearing it up, the, the, Texas, we know about it. We know about yeah, it. Yeah, I knew about him. I knew about him. I don't recall him at all until – until he signed. Now, uh, oddly enough, I knew about his brother more than I knew about him, but that's because his brother. That's because he was at TSU. Yeah, I'm going to say his brother attended TSU. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Portland no, picked up no. Rodney Hood. Say what now? We got an arms race going on in the West in the NBA. I know. We're not there yet. Yeah. Just letting you know. But the year Jalen Hurts was there, he took Channel View on a pretty historic run. Yeah, he did. And then they went to play, uh, I think it was either Cibolo Steel or Converse Jefferson, and you know how that, you know, those are the San Antonio powerhouses and. You know, he just, you know, couldn't get by. But I remember him. He was a, he was a fantastic player in high school. I really thought he'd be a much better passer in college because he was a damn good passer in high school. Well, that's because everybody, <laughs> defensive backs in high school don't know much of anything. Yeah, but what I'm saying is the mechanics were there. Like, why didn't you coach this kid up and continue? Because they don't coach anybody I was say, in Alabama. Have you ever known Nick Saban to coach any, any quarterback Not up? at all. Not have at you all. known that's anybody in the SEC who got coached up? Have you ever known Nick – no, oh, wait, wait. Well, yes, yeah, there have been some good quarterbacks. quite well. Peyton Manning. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Eli uh, Manning. Andy Murray. Eli Manning. Eli Manning. Dak Murray. has solidified his spot for quite a while. Uh, I mean, hey, y'all can keep hating uh, on Dak, bro. And he's going to keep starting for the most lucrative NFL franchise. Dak is age. by far in the perfect situation. Dak is kind of like, that's like going to the Raiders. As long as you can run fast, the Raiders, you will always have a spot on their team. You will, but at least with the Cowboys. As long as you're with the yeah, Cowboys, I mean, Cowboys, if you can throw a spiral, you will always be on the – you always have a spot what on the team. All you've named are these outliers, though. You still what, as far as the quarterbacks? Yeah. Hold on, wait a minute. So, now, let's go through the team. It's only one every – all those years, it was only one. What you mean? At, at that particular year, it yes. was only one, meaning one, one star quarterback and what the rest was – SEC quarterback? Yes. Oh, man, they'd have you had Brody Kyle. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> Really? Brody Cross? Yeah, him too. Oh, exactly. No, no. it's Alabama not. you're talking about. Yeah, Alabama I'm not. Alabama ain't really had, had no quarterback really since Kenny Stabler. Yeah, I, uh, I would say, or Joe Namath. Well, Kenny Stabler coming after Joe Namath. Yeah. So, so I give him credit for Kenny Stabler. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. T. Martin? 
<laughs> he went he went back to Tennessee to go coach. Yeah, yeah. T. Martin, national champion, huh? Yeah, Trying to bring Peyton in. Yeah, he couldn't did, do it. He just didn't have it. So he left USC? T. Martin's not the coach of USC anymore? He didn't leave USC. No. You know, they got Graham Harrell now as a uh, yeah. OC. OC. Yeah, they, so they he was let go. One Texas Tech quarterback left, and they pick up another. Enough, literally. Mm-hmm. Just said, okay, well, we'll go with the lesser Texas. So, team. USC wants to run that damn that uh, offense. The, that air raid. The air raid. They want to run that bad. They want to they want to show their athletes off. Mm-hmm. But don't want to get uh, Mike Leach. No, because Mike Leach did him bad. I mean, Mike Leach First is the off, one who Mike taught him all. And Mike Leach is in a better I'm going to say, but he's in, their divi- he's in their conference. Yeah, it's a better a spot than USC. No, it's not a better spot than USC, but, I mean, it's a damn good hey, spot. Look, he's playing for the conference championships, and USC is not at the time, at and the moment. Yeah, and not and playing for any other championship. Yeah, but all he's got to do, like, Mike Leach would still be at Texas Tech if it hadn't have been for one uh, for former Craig running James back, son. punk ass son. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. So, uh, such strong. Uh, and it wasn't. Uh, 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 the son uh, could have uh, been a punk and just got kicked off. The was dad he not? was too. The dad was too loud. Well, yeah, the, no, the dad. The, the dad was a sports dad. It is, yeah. you know, Hover which right. is quite ironic because he was a part of the 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 the, the biggest the, scandal, the, the biggest scandal in, in NCAA football history. history. But anyway, yeah, you know, you li- but you know, we all know being fathers. Yeah, you, you gotta know, back them up. Yeah, you know, it's a. Hey, I'll hey. back you up to a certain extent, brother. But if you want to play wrong, football, wrong, no, you not, when play it come football. To, not when it comes to my child. You're going to do right by my child. You're going to do right by my <laughs> child, but my child got to do right by you. Uh, yes. Okay? Yes, All he right. does. Now, 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 I, okay, case in point. Uh, I was at a, a, a tournament doing my thing, a basketball tournament, and um, we had a kid who was taken off uh, 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 the court by his coach. His coach kind of berated him. His coach told him he's soft, and I've seen this kid play a bunch of times. Coach wasn't lying. Soft. This boy was soft <laughs> and sharp. F O capital T. He was soft. One of the only black young men in this program. So the kid's father, for some reason, was there, but he wasn't in the thing. So I heard him. I heard the whole thing. I'm reffing. Oh God! And and the thing is on the bench, and you know the 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 kid told the coach. You're a horrible coach. Oh. You're beneath me. All kind of crazy oh, stuff he wow. was saying. This is what the kid is saying. Oh, yeah. Spoiled brat. Yes. You know, you move some of these black folks out to Katy, they, 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 they think they're highfalutin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Like they live so, in Bel Air or something. Right. So the dad comes in. Right, and he's like, <laughs> "Wait, what was that back in the jab?" I know, no, 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 no. <laughs> that jab was at me. It's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna power through my story regardless. Okay, this is from a young man who went to high school in River Oaks of all places. <laughs> but whatever. Okay. Uh, anyway, hey, we up there, we capping folks. Yeah. I mean, oh God. Respect it's to the dead. Forget it, oh, the Lord. I mean, respect to the dead, uh, and uh, right. which is unfortunate. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're gonna leave we're that alone. <laughs> Let's go in the back. To but anyway, long story short, the dad comes in and he's like, charging me up during the game, and the other ref like, did this man touch my son? What? Oh, wow. Did he, no, 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 no. I understand that, but did he touch my son? <laughs> I'm like, your son cursed this grown man out. Right. And I wanted to tell him, you should have been in here, number one. <laughs> and number two, your boy is like, Disrespectful. there's three black kids on the team, and he's coming off the bench. That might be a problem. I'm just saying. Why are you relating his <laughs> athletic <laughs> proudness to his skin color, sir? Well, because I do a lot of refereeing, and I go to private schools and things, and you see where it's two black kids on the team. And then they still got their shooting shirts on when the when the tip off, and I'm like, what the? It embarrasses the hell out of me. Anyway, <laughs> maybe it's because they uncoachable. The number's still 23. No, it's probably they are uncoachable. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're stereotyping, <laughs> definitely uncoachable. Yeah, you exactly stereotype. my point. That's exactly my point. Anyway, go but, ahead. But anyway, this father, I'm looking at him like, no. If this man had to touch your son, I mean, we're inside this small. J- no. Uh, and he charging up the coach. The game's still going on. In the middle of the game. So he's stopping the game. Stop. He, how you talk to the ref in the middle of the game? We didn't stop nothing. I'm running up and down the floor. He's a hey, ref, ref, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I'm busy right if now. If this white man had to hit your son, trust me, okay? Uh, you would have right? known about it. You would have known about it. But no, your son is a jerk, and you created him. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> 
called the man okay. son of a jerk. Well, no, I didn't, no, 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 I didn't tell him that. I was like, God have. bless the troops. I should have. <laughs> he wouldn't say, God bless yeah. America, God, God bless the troops. Yeah. But he knows his son's a jerk. <laughs> That's why his son acts like that. Mm. So right. your kids got to have some accountability. I mean, parents got to do. They better. definitely learn mm. it from the parents. Yes, they, 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 or they, they don't learn. And from since the we're parents. talking mm-hmm. about since we're talking uh-huh. about coaches and 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 parents confrontation, did you see in New Jersey that a basketball coach has just been arrested for shooting? Oh yeah, the parent, the parent. of his player hey. because the parent went and confronted the coach at his home. Why? Which is problem number two. Right, which right. which is problematic. All in it, ugh, that's just problematic. Some, number one was in whatever Texas, got him that hyped up in the first place. In Texas, they would have just wrote him for a bad uh, edge up, wrote him up a uh, ticket like you need to clean your edge up. up. <laughs> you you silly. Anyway, so nice. the father confronts the the coach <laughs> at his home, and uh, apparently they were no well, there were l- witnesses that later came out, but uh, somehow there was a, a, a confrontation, an altercation. And the coach ends up shooting the father. But when the police arrived, the coach said it was somebody, a third party, who, a random third party out of nowhere who came and shot them both. Stop snitching. He came and shot them both. And so the father ended up having to go to the hospital, had to deal with his, his injuries. Um, and the, apparently the coach was shot too, but it comes to find out he shot himself accidentally. Ha, clever. Uh, and so after doing the investigation, I said later on, witnesses came in and, and explained that, no, the coach shot the dad. And so now the coach has been arrested. That is also on our Twitter feed for those of you who follow. Yeah. This is going to be an awesome, uh, what is it? Uh, Trial. Law and order. Uh, oh, right. I know. Yeah, right? Right? Absolutely. Yeah, right. Luckily, nobody died. Uh, Thank God nobody TV. died. And hey, we could always make somebody die on, no. on TV. Oh, on, on TV, TV yes, yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah. On Law and Order, he's, the, 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 they're going to die. Gonna they're going to be dead. What they said, they're going to they're 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 intensify the story. But throughout your whole expression of the story, all I heard was, dun dun. I was just waiting on it. They do They definitely sensationalize some things. They definitely do that. I don't know the facts of the case all all together, but. I'm pretty sure the coach was well justified. Oh, yeah, once you step on somebody's hey, property. If you come to my house, I'm going to be yeah. honest with you. Yeah. All bets time. are off, homie. It's on and Because you know why I am. You come to the school. You drop your child off. I be up there every day. And we can you have can a talk to me What Big Red say? My office hours. Exactly. <laughs> I'm from <laughs> 9 to, to 5. five. <laughs> and when he didn't understand, he helped him understand. Let him know. He helped him understand. But being involved in, I'm involved in youth football this year with my son. And then I'm involved with uh, refereeing, uh, 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 you know, uh, high school and youth sports all over the place. And um, I see these parents, and these parents are out of control. Oh, yeah. A lot of them. It's crazy. You couldn't pay me to coach. You couldn't. You couldn't. And and it's something I would enjoy doing, I think. But if it weren't for the parents, that's why I ref. I can stay close to the game, and I ain't got to worry about it. I I, I don't want to tell nobody, look, man, send your boy to camp. (laughs) <laughs> and then send him to me. <laughs> okay, you, you know why your son doesn't play? Uh, huh? Uh, huh? You want to know why? He's 14 and he double dribbles. <laughs> oh, my He's goodness. not wearing a helmet. There's no excuse for him to double dribble. Oh, wow. Wow. At 14 years old. Wow. Okay? Wow. I was not the best basketball player in the world, I, obviously. <laughs> but I'll tell you this. Okay, <laughs> I never got called for double. I'm trying one. to keep it together, homie. <laughs> Not one time. Your kid's a 14 year old boy can't dribble, and you hollering at me. Call it both ways. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Your son is trash. <laughs> oh my god. Hot hey, garbage. I don't know. This is extremely random, but the boy just popped in my head. Shout out to my boy Hamad. Hey, yeah, king Hamad of R&B. Right the R and B king. King of R and B. I just R&B. want you to know, hey man. I loved your tribute to James Ingram. Yeah. 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 Absolutely we did. loved we did. it. We did. It was amazing. Did. He did the Barry White part too? My wife no, loved no, it. No, he didn't. No, okay. he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. In fact, he even ran from one of those James Ingram notes. I said I was going to hit him up about it later. <laughs> he ran from it. He, he, didn't, he, hey. didn't, he didn't tackle that note like he was supposed to. Yeah. I was like, you know, when Next James time. Ingram go up on Impromptu, that thing. Impromptu, man. Impromptu. Yeah, Impromptu, yeah. Amar right. went down. He hey. bailed out on that thing. Next, Next time, time. Next time we're going to tweet him. Amar. We're going to retweet him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, I want to give a what up to uh, uh, Catastrophe 1911. Hey, what do? Shout out. Yeah. 
Is that cat with a K? That's my fat brother right there. Cat with a K. It's got to be with a K. You know, it's got to be with a K. It's got to be with a K. Because you know they wear red. Where's Sticks at? Sticks ain't got us today? What up, Swan? I don't know. You know, Sticks is a Patriots fan. We are not doing that. I am a member of Kappa Alpha Psi. Yeah, well, A non-hazing organization. Or a street fraternity of any kind. No, no, sort of street. This is in... Whatever. Colleges. Uh, okay, y'all still throw up gang signs. I still... know we throw up fraternity <laughs> signs. <laughs> Thank you very much. Your what sign color? even looks like the blood sign. <laughs> I know, or right? Or <laughs> <laughs> it looks Explain like the Kappa <laughs> Alpha Psi <laughs> sign. A noob noob, what's up? It looks like the blood sign. What color sign. you be wearing, yo? <laughs> and we had another sign. We had to change that first. What's your color? I uh, colors are crimson and cream, <laughs> not red yeah. at all. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What side of y'all wear your flag on? Uh, yeah, right. Flag? We don't we don't wear flags. What side oh, you wear? Maybe that was just the gangster news no. I went to school with. Yeah. Hey, hey, oh, oh, oh yeah. No, no, see, no. <laughs> Everybody has their own interpretation. No. Hey, what side shout you put? Out to what side? <laughs> shout out to my H Town noobs. What, what side you put your cane on? Gangster noobs, if you will. What side you put your cane on? I mean, whatever side. If I'm hanging to the left, no, let me stop. Let me stop. Hey, hold on, though. Hamad uh, said he was going to hit the note, but the time ran out. No, Hamad, you, you ran from that note, bro. You ran from it. Uh, I was waiting on it, too. Out. I was sitting there in he anticipation. The I was like, he fit to go for it. And he was like, yeah, he time, nah, I'm going to go down. Hey. That boy hit you with that Carl Lewis <laughs> of the brain yeah. instead of no, going no. up. the hey. That reminds of me of a video. Free. Oh, we gotta play that. Yeah, we gotta play that. We gotta that play, play that because of the Super Bowl. Yeah. Oh at the end god. Of the show. That reminds me of a video. There's a video on YouTube where this girl back in the '80s was on some show singing "Minnie Ripperton's Loving You." Uh huh. And I mean, you gotta see it to believe it, but, but we'll do it. But you know when she got to the part where she hits the high note? Yeah. Right. Hi. You know that thing? Yeah. The girl Let me hear it one like, more time. How'd she do it? Hi. <laughs> right. <laughs> But this chick was like, you know what? Hell no, nah, I'm not even <laughs> going there. <laughs> so she goes baritone. She goes, <laughs> and I was like, oh. that was the worst version of that song. My you boy Hamad bailed on it. I was so, I was laughing so hard because I was like, I know he can do it. He just decided not to do it. He was like, nah, this on the gram. I ain't really trying to be <laughs> the laughing like stock of the gram. You know what I'm talking uh, about? All right, well, Hamad. Hamar say it's only a minute, but Hamar, you're gonna have to go back on there and prove this man wrong. <laughs> right? Hit the note. Hey. Okay, start from Want the note. Hot tea. <laughs> hot tea. Hot tea and honey, man. Hot tea and honey. Oh, man. Do your, do your exercise. Those. You know what I'm talking about? All you know the exercises. About? Get them ready. Oh, God. You are listening to the Garage Apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night from 6 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Be sure to check us out. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and our sound cloud. Yeah. So now, no, of course, the fight yesterday? we had anybody some good fight? fights. I was nice disappointed. I was going for Alvarez, oh, and he yeah. got he and got Kovalev. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alvarez uh, got, Kovalev got his title back. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it and was, he did it pretty handily. I see yeah. why they didn't they didn't uh, televise it. It was on ESPN. It was Plus. on ESPN Plus. Plus. Yeah, I see oh, why yeah. they didn't televise it. Yeah. What? It was a bad match. But did you see my boy on the undercard? The one Which that, one? that yeah. won. Yeah. Kami. Kami? Richard Kami? He can punch. Hey, Kami floored the Kami. That boy the folded. Kid, the kid can punch. <laughs> that dude. Yeah, he can. The kid can punch. He folded man. that dude. Yep, yep. And um, did you see the one before, after that? The, yeah. Uh, I was watching the, that while I was the, not the even turkey The dude that. <laughs> the dude that. Uh, <laughs> that proposed that proposed to his wife. Yeah, oh, after yeah. he lost the fight, after I guess he, he lost and proposed. Oh, yeah, hey, hey, look, look, face, no, look, no, face no, swollen, no, no. cut he up. Remember two weeks he ago didn't get, he didn't lose. He got knocked out. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't in his right mind. Hopefully like he they got are. knocked. Yeah, out. that is wow. truly love. She Dude. said yes. I was on me. What? Cigarette, no, 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 no. cigarette, you say, say you would get no. hit, man. Hey, we are in a boxing ring. I would say no if you want to. We can lace him up right now. She probably thinks he can whoop. <laughs> That's what she said. I She's like, yeah, it. I go, man. I, can tell. I just Bobby, saw you take that in. Exactly. Bro. I'm going <laughs> to think about this. That's yeah. not funny. Look what, yeah. we're, look what we're doing. She That's said not yes. funny. Well, nothing tests your girl's loyalty like you getting knocked out in front watching of Watching you That's get knocked true. out. If she still ride for you after watching you yeah. get knocked out, that's love. Bro. Man, it yeah. better be love. Better be that's love. love. Nah. Either that or she has a nice insurance policy. Yeah, I happen to think the brother wasn't in his right mind at all. 
Yeah, well, I think yeah, I because I, I I believe you got certain uh, uh, issues towards the institution of marriage. Period. Because whenever you find out somebody getting married, you be like, "Oh my God, why?" I know. <laughs> you remember when uh, what, what's his name with the Astros when he proposed? You, oh, you, you don't you don't Correa. do much. Oh God, I killed him on social. Media. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're 25. You just won the World Series. The hell wrong with you? <laughs> And what kind of season did he and have? Look, you have a look, future. Look, he didn't mess up his back. We ain't won a World Series oh, since. Oh, God. God. Horrible season, bro. Son, Dude, wait. Was, broke his wrist. Wait. Well, he broke his he wrist. Supposed to be, he's supposed to be the truth. He better come back. Ladies, we're just joking. I'm not. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> ladies, <laughs> we're just joking. What's up to all the lady <laughs> listeners? <laughs> How you doing, lady listeners? We love the ladies. Uh, What's up, ladies listeners? <laughs> I'm married because I reached the midpoint of my life. There's mortality there. <laughs> we got here. Here, 25 and a millionaire. What the, What are you getting married for? Man, it's getting warm in here. It, it is hot. Oh, it's, it's, it's past warm. warm. Oh, is it because we're laughing very hard? No, no, no. no, no because on in. Sundays it's hot. Yeah. Well, and right. then I, I guess they expect you know it was cold. It's because the garage apartment is hot. Huh. No, what, the problem is it was freezing on Friday. Hot like Cajun. And then they had the dang on heat turned up. Now it's 72 degrees outside. Is that what it is? Yeah, they need to have a uh, maintenance man here. Uh, uh, we have a three zero Super Bowl. Yeah, we got a soccer seven game. Seven minutes going left in the second quarter. I like to say baseball because soccer ball. they don't score this frequently. So this is they the only baseball. scored once and they That's scored back. Yeah, but it's three points in baseball. You can get one, three runs in soccer. Eight. You ain't getting three goals. So. But, yeah, but it's more exciting than this. Third. It's one score. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just, just because Americans choose to add more points for the worth uh. of one score means nothing. Did, you watch, did y'all watch the? Uh, Shout out to City. Nice. Y'all watch the uh, the Lakers Warriors game that night too. Did watch the Lakers Warriors game bit. last night. The war the the Lakers actually fought really really hard, and then the Warriors showed why they are what they are. Where they yeah. start giving up three pointers. Uh, well, yeah. you can't give up three pointers. The thing is that. this. That's what they do. Because I watched it, and then eventually I just got up because uh, you know it just bothers me so when I watch the Warriors dominate. It just really upsets me. But the Lakers were fight, fighting hard, and they oh did God. exactly what everybody else, everybody does. else yeah. does. They fight hard, stay in the game after playing outstanding defense, oh, true, true. and then they start shooting threes. On, right, man. right, right. Well, let me tell you if this. Everybody, uh, listen, man. If you're not in the game from shooting threes, why all of a sudden when you get yourself into a tied game or an opportunity? And matter of fact, the Lakers went up as far as 10. They were up 10. No, my thing is why they're shooting threes because that's what they have. If they had the dunk, the Lakers don't have three. No, 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 no. I'm not. This is the Lakers we're talking about. Yes. If they could get to the rim, they'd get to the rim. That's what I'm saying. They're not just going to let you get there. No, but I agree Especially with Especially not in the fourth quarter. No, but people don't stick to their game plan when they play the Warriors. They don't. They, they think they, they got to outshoot the Warriors. They and, think and, and, you, you can't outshoot the Warriors. you're not going to do that. You have to play perimeter defense. That is a hold. You ha- and, and like you said last week, you have to keep from those long rebounds those long turning rebounds. into offense. Right, turning into transition you got to score baskets so that they have to inbound the ball under the basket and go to full court. Exactly. That's, That's what you key. have to do, and you the have to be them up you then. have to score – as well. You yes. do, but you have to keep them from shooting three-pointers. You do, and the because only way to do that is to D them up yeah, full you court. Have to, you have to chase them off the three-pointer. The reason why they were so close yesterday is also Curry was all oh, trash. And then he took <laughs> over in the fourth quarter. Yeah, then he, yes, they let him shoot three-pointers. <laughs> 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 yeah. they let him, no, no, they were letting him shoot because they were guarding him the whole three quarters. That fourth quarter, all of a sudden, they were just like, yeah, go ahead. Take the shot. You hadn't hit one all day. Yeah, I know. Hey, but one question. Man, though. pump fake. Uh-huh. What's going on? Y'all, Man. are we losing a signal? Man, pump losing fake. signal where? My, I'm talking to our listeners. I'm sorry. I, I, those of you, if you are losing signals, please hit us up and let us know if you are losing signals. My man, pump fake, and two Lakers, like, flew by him. Right. Like, Jesus, a wide open three-pointer. So, Yeah. I mean, yes, it's hard to guard. It's hard, hard to stay patient, but you just have to keep that, keep the on the course. You do not the best three point shooter of to all grace time. The game, absolutely, that he is. Yeah, absolutely. you can hold this man for three quarters and ten minutes. He hits three threes yeah. in a row. That's not bad, D, bro. That's not that's not bad, D. You have played excellent, D. The man is cold enough to beat your good D. Right. 
and he's cold enough to do it consistently every game. Yeah. You have to wear him out. You have to make him tired because he is by far their defensive weak. Exactly. Link. That's what. So if you make him play defense, hopefully you can tire him out yeah. so where his legs are not under his shot. That's, that's the only what, chance you got. That's what super supporter Hamad just said. <laughs> make <laughs> Steph Curry play defense. Make him play defense. And, and that's exactly it. You don't make him play defense when you're coming down and just popping three. Ahmad, I want another video tonight, bro. Yeah. I got to have it. I, w- I got to hit a note, bro. I got to. One Dang. more thing on the Lakers, though. Did you ever think that we would ever in history be giving the Lakers credit for fighting hard? No. Yeah. I know, right? Sad, no, right? No, what no, I, no. I, I, mind me. you, LeBron James did not play. They fought And hard. nor will he until Anthony Davis gets there. Because supposedly he uh, he is on, what is it, load management? Hey, yeah, load load management. Load, yeah. Bro, I, I say, now, nah, good Lord, you just missed 17 games, and now you go, you play one game, and now you on load management? Usage rate, my friend. Hey, Usage rate. Dude, you missed 17 games. You played one, and now you can't play the next one against the defending champions? You may have nope. bubble guts, man. You got to drop a load. Man, stop. Hey, but speaking of And people. I'm a LeBron fan, but he's starting to irritate me, man. He, oh, he's really he's irritating me for the longest. Yeah, I like the guy, he but he irritates changed. the hell out he of me. Start, he's been, he's, he's been starting to irritate me now. He irritated he me for the changed. longest. He's still, yeah, he's the same guy. Don't let don't don't start now. Yeah. If you liked him before, it's the same thing. I he's just, just in a Lakers uniform now. Hollywood. Yes, yes. Hey, but speaking of the Lakers and people involved with the Lakers, did anybody see that Lamelo Ball video? No. Which with, one? With, with, you know, with the dude with the cul-de-sac, that old looking dude. Yes, I did see that. Somebody daddy out there playing. Man, Why don't this like, dude go bald? Anyway. I saw that. What was that? That, that was, was a, that was a basketball game between his little academy or whatever they made up against some high school somewhere in Cali. So how yeah. old is that man? That dude's like 16 or 17. He's just very unfortunate. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, he is. He's just very that's unfortunate how, that his hair grows that way. That's how kids look. Because he did no, not I look no cold. Idea what y'all are talking he about. has a cul-de-sac. He did not look good. He looked... Older, he looked more experienced at playing the game. Oh That's God. because of his hair. No, no, not. What are you doing? Like the way he was getting the steals, the way he was getting uh, in one layups and stuff yeah, like that. I mean, that. but it's he a high looked- level of basketball. Like both teams are high level. B- both teams are teams who can't compete for the state championship. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That so man looked like he was 42. He did, but he wasn't a grown man. I think he's a, he's like he, he's like Throw a senior ball, in high boy. school. Call away, boy. Yeah. yeah. That's I don't know why down. he won't just take a down. razor to his head and not look that no, way. That's fourth down. We're playing. No, I'm saying that was third down. That's uh-huh. why he didn't throw it away. Yeah, I, I, I would go all, all. He went ahead and took the sack so they can punt it. Because otherwise, otherwise, otherwise they're at midfield. Well, he but should, uh, he should have thrown on the ball home. to his tight end. So now we're talking about the Super Bowl. And as you know, there's many, it's many. 3 0 with four oh, minutes. Oh, hit him in the back. That would be hilarious. There are many, many yeah. opinions about the Super Bowl. Punt Fest 2019 is what I call it. <laughs> people, you know, a lot of people <laughs> saying bad. they're saying highlighting they're highlighting the kicking portion. Yeah, punt it. pass and kick emphasis on punt. <laughs> saying they should be protesting the Super Bowl. Uh, boo. Uh, boo. Due to uh well, what pro- do we want to call it? The black balling of 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 Kaepernick. Of of Kaepernick. And the repeated drug testing of Eric Green. Man, why I can't remember his first name. What's his first Colin. name? Colin. Colin. Good. Shout Lord. out to my new Colin. Colin Kaepernick. Colin's a noob. <laughs> No, Colin is a new. Y'all let okay. Yeah. Exactly. Well, we, what you mean let? No, 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 no. Nothing, Y'all nothing, letting nothing. I'll talk about this after. in undergrad, bro. Because I saw. Just so you know. I've seen noobs where I was like, Religious. word? <laughs> yeah. I've, yeah, I've seen They don't let us in Sigma Chi. It's a couple of them that have confused me. But one thing <laughs> I can honestly say. <laughs> I have never. Why I've, does John be a noob? I have <laughs> never seen that with 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 the, with them boys in purple and gold. I ain't never seen none. They make nah, me go. I haven't either. That Shout make out me to go. my fraternity for not being racist, by the way. I'm not what? saying be racist. Wait, Wait, apparently that's Paul. what we're saying. What, apparently what, we want. First us off, to be what makes you think highly discriminatory? Which well, is first off, otherwise known as you have to be a discriminatory fraternity. You're a black fraternity, so. You have to be discriminatory. Black so black colleges can only accept black people. No, what no. I'm saying is so you have to be discriminatory to an extent. businesses can only serve black people? No, but they should. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I didn't be broke. You're, <laughs> fr- you're a fraternity, so you have to be discriminatory. Exactly. Now, that that is my point. That we do. As a fraternity, we do. You yeah. have to be. You Remember the be. song the young men from Oklahoma were singing? They'll never be uh, in, what was that, Sigma who? Uh, no was idea. Delta, was it Delta Chi? They'll never be. Uh, I tried Delta. <laughs> <laughs> There'll never be a no. <laughs> <laughs> they were singing that faithfully. 
right. And there are several who probably try to get in there every year. I mean, I'm, uh, ironically, that I know a black gentleman that was in that fraternity, but not uh-huh. at the University of Oklahoma, at another school. Definitely wouldn't tell you, sir. Yeah, and I looked at him crazy. Yeah, man, I'm 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 sick up. Are you? We ain't got no beef left, man. Yeah, we got beef, beef left. left. I was say I got eight dollar beef. Are you sick up? We stay with beef. Uh, is that what you wanted what to do with beef? your life? Uh, we stay I with beef. I don't know where we're going with what that one. Yeah, I don't okay. either. People uh, be hating us and making I our pressure rise. <laughs> making our pressure <laughs> rise. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> Shout out to the pescatarian. So now, <laughs> the Black Wilbon has made, he has been, he's made it very clear. He's had a very strong position on watching the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black people trying to tell me I'm a sellout for watching the Super Bowl. But look here, I like football. And then I don't want to, uh, uh, look here, man. If, if we looked at, organizations that have been discriminatory to African descended people. We would stop watching football, basketball, baseball. We, we would stop we going would stop to school. Doing everything. We stop yeah, going we'd, to we'd stop being Americans. We stop going. Come on, man. We, do we, we really should stop being Americans. Not to mention how many First lives time. has this sport changed of black people mm-hmm. in the process? I am not a fan of what they've done to Colin Kaepernick at all. I but am I not mean, a fan of what they've done to yeah. You've got to keep everything in perspective. Playing devil's advocate. But that's kind of the point, right? Like, mm. the fact that it's always dismissed as, yeah, but if we did this. Well, at some point, we got to do something in order to move the needle, right? Yeah, if, well, we always, if, we always are, if we are always dismissive of every action that is uh, 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 discriminatory towards okay, people but, of a certain hue. But... Yeah. Well, I mean, if you get the audience, if you get the audience to not watch, if you get one segment of audience not to watch the uh, the game, it, the NFL period, you still have another segment or segments of people who will. Yes, the majority the will paying watch. segment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the ones but, who will buy the tickets. But if you get the people who actually work now that's for the another NFL story there to boycott their own jobs if yeah. all african americans say we will not suit up for a game for the nfl guess or won't said be, sport guess what won't be getting watched dead. yeah but see i can't ask them to do that i'm gonna say that's a big that's a why, big, I why you can't because they're you're, not you gotta you're understand asking me to do it you're certain but that's because you're not you're not making the sacrifice that they're making. How you figure? The What's that? You're right? Because you're watching television as an entertainment, you as, need as, as 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 to be entertained, whereas it is their livelihood. Now, is that the only form of, of, of living? Probably okay, not. so in the same fact as it's basically you're saying we're not as in it as they are, it doesn't have the same effect. I'm not either. saying no. Wait, wait. I'm not saying that we're not in it as much as we are. I'm saying you're talking about people who. Who rely upon playing that game to sustain themselves? No, who are who are responsible for for their families, who are provide who are responsible for providing Go teach. and wealth for their family. Go teach. Yeah. No, 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 no. Even no, though no, wealth no, is, no, so no, they're no, not they're not in the position Go to teach be in like a racist institution. Is what you're going to do? Historically, racist institution. All these schools they were segregated at one point. All of so them. let's boycott them. I mean, it, it, it's okay. Number one, okay, you you smacking on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Set the ground rules before we go on air. It's smacking on the mic. Engineer, but hold on, hold engineer, on. Engineer, Mr. Okay. Beef, I, I have some strange opinions about Kaepernick that people look at me crazy about. I, anyway. I want you to go into them, brother. We got Do 16. We have okay, okay, Let's okay, go. Okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. Because okay. I no, no, always no. enjoyed your view. No, I really no, no, did. No, no. Let's go. No, it's not. Okay. First off with Kaepernick, okay? So there's one thing about him being extra gung-ho and growing an afro out. I think that has light a lot. Skin folks, man. He's not light skin. He's mixed. I was gonna say, mixed. Yeah, Ahmad mixed. is light skin. Yes, <laughs> so he's a half African. So is Adari. Adari is yellow. Mean, he's a half African. Uh, okay. Look, look, look my mama say I'm paper sack brown. <laughs> yeah. He, okay. The funky militant. But see, look my at Mal- thing. Malcolm X was red, and he was militant than a mug. Yeah. Beige rage, brother. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> my whole thing is why. Oh God, it's always a half. I don't want to say half breed, but it's always uh, a mixed, mixed person. A, a mixed Monaco. person. And yeah. see, no. and see, no. look, I've seen this before. Okay, especially after Trump got elected, I know a couple of uh, mixed people who, and, 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 I, and I knew a girl in high school who actually heard her mother on the phone call somebody an N word, just say the word, and then all of a sudden 
She was like, oh, my God. And then she figured out she was black. I think that's kind of, Colin Kaepernick grew up in Wisconsin somewhere with all these white people. And it's one of those things when you come into the knowledge that you're black pretty late and you go pretty gung-ho into it, <laughs> okay? I mean, I'm he went to Nevada. Save everybody. Yeah, I mean, well, he was he a new. he identifies himself as black, though. He does now. Right? Has he always identified himself well, as black? Well, we don't know. We, don't huh? actually, we didn't know who he was until he got to the University then, of Nevada. And then looking at Colin Kaepernick. Do you, you really know who you are until you're at least 18? I knew who I was. I'm, Apparently, a, I'm look, a Negro from Mississippi. Have you met but my father? I knew, I knew I exactly who I was. Yes, Apparently, both of you all came from the same <laughs> cultural household. Mm-hmm. Apparently, the Lived fraternity. The fraternity of Kappa Alpha Psi told right. Kaepernick who he was. No, I, like, no, they, but, but, but it was I a chapter in Nevada. Several, th- hold on, wait, wait. <laughs> it was in Nevada. Nevada what does that mean? It's University a, of Nevada, Reno, not even Nevada, <laughs> Las Vegas. Nevada, it's Reno. It's an international fraternity, brother. We have chapters all over the world. I know, but it's all There's athletes. It, it's all athletes at the noose up there. Hey, y'all have one in Africa? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure. you just saying, yeah, or do y'all have one in they Africa? They probably got a graduate chapel. Where in Africa? Name the Air Force Base in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the right. University yeah. of Lagos, it's they probably Djibouti. do have one. Djibouti? No, it is. It's in Djibouti. It's near, in Djibouti. Near Uranus. <laughs> Stop. I got a homeboy that was stationed in Djibouti. Djibouti is very nice, according to him. <laughs> so offensive. Very temperate, Mediterranean climate. You would love it. Uh, but but, but no, my, okay. So, okay, my one thing would be, my cat, and I've heard a lot of things about him. I have my questions about the whole situation as well. My thing is that I don't really care when the light bulb comes on for you. If the light bulb comes on, then it comes on. And then at that point in time, what you do with it is what you do with it. Yeah. Um, there are people who've known about it. Let's just say he came into it late. There are people who've known about it the whole time and have done a lot less. I'm not even saying he did that much. The man just sat down. He you know did. what I'm saying? He doesn't talk a lot. Just sat down. And that's the one reason he still he is not giving his side of the full story right. yet. And so I mean you have a right to remain silent. And you do, yeah. which is cool because he's made money from it. He's good. He, he doesn't need to play no, the league. He has become an actor. He actually hasn't been and that he's silent. Cool with it. I don't know if y'all are following it, but he actually has no, not but been that silent. They they want him to do the conciliatory interview mm-hmm. where everything is condensed nice and easy for the the mass public will say. And we'll ask you the questions. You answer them, hopefully, how we want you to. And then that's it. If you do it right, you're back in the graces. If not, you're out the door. I'm going to say, but is that for the mass public or is that for uh, a certain certain amount of, uh, a certain hue of people to have, to to, to come to to a conclusion based on on his position? Well, look, man. say tomato. Yeah, but uh, my thing is to ask a bunch of fully African-American uh, descendants of slaves who are from the inner city and the country who really had to deal with all this stuff their whole lives to uh, uh, give up their livelihoods uh, hoods, uh, on behalf of some mulatto, I don't support that. I'm sorry. Sorry. So then I don't care what he identifies by. Would you support them giving up their livelihood for guaranteed contracts? Yes. Why? Yes, definitely. Why? But they're That's not giving absurd. up their livelihood. No, they would. That's they would negotiating. have to stop playing the game in order to do that. No, that that's is getting the whole your union. Point of work stoppages. No, exactly, and that's getting your union to actually do what the union is supposed to do. That is that is getting the same young black men that you were just saying you don't feel should have to stop working. You're telling them to stop working on behalf of the greater good. Yeah, that's but that's the what unions exact do, same though. Thing. Yes. Yeah, but that's what unions do. And, and unions why do they do it? Because sometimes that's what's needed. Mm-hmm. Sometimes that's the only thing that's effective. It is. I mean, you bring up a good point that, uh, I mean, there are many players who just are indifferent. And part of it is either they're too young and don't really care or they don't really understand to the extent. I mean, you know, a lot of people just, some people are just indifferent. They don't care. Some people, if it hasn't affected them immediately, then they have no, they have no feeling about it. No, or they're actually doing things in their community. (laughs) <laughs> that they come from to actually help. Yeah, Where's well, that too? Because they're not from Wilkes-Barre, Wisconsin, or wherever the hell this dude is from. You know, it's kind of like just met black people when he got in. in well, NFL. we don't know that to be Man, true either. It. But I mean, it's no comes black people in Wisconsin, right? Because yeah. like, yeah. not no the part like Milwaukee. Like Wisconsin. Milwaukee don't have a ghetto so, like every. So other he wasn't place in Milwaukee though. So, so <laughs> what I'm saying, black folk in Wisconsin. If a half black, half white person, he wasn't in Milwaukee, not where he's from. 
he, the man can experience racism wherever. He does not look like a white person. He don't look like a, a black white person either. would see exactly. But he if like not a white person, hair. what are you? Huh? They say one tenth. Yeah, yeah. See, but that's a slavery rule because they're trying to one tenth a person to us now running for president. Ooh. And I don't buy her damn story. Who this ain't a black woman. About? I'm talking about Kamala Harris. Sorry. This is a fraud. That was fourth down. And this yeah. is an you imposter. say Kamala Harris is a fraud? Yeah, oh, she's a one hundred percent a fraud. Yeah. What this is, is not based, a black person. Based on what? Because she's a uh, Indian with a uh, uh, pretty what? much white Jamaican father. You seen her, daddy? Indians are black people. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Go Africa ask your Indian. Africa go, time. Go over there and. Go over there to some cats playing cricket. I mean, uh, there's some Negroes that don't say, accept hey, being guys, Negro. Are you meaning American native? No, she's, she's from India. Her Kamala. mother is from India, and she grew up with her Indian mother. Are they not of dark persuasion? I don't care if they're of dark persuasion. They ain't what, what you I mean? am. Cause, uh, cause ultimately, nah, what we're talking about is all, all of this being fictitious is <laughs> based on... All of this being fictitious is based on the skin color. And no, it's, something no, being it's, black and something being white is based on skin his color. skin color. No, it's not skin color. It's heritage, and it's birthright. Okay, so she can't just come here uh, uh, being half mulatto Jamaican. Cause <laughs> you ever seen her daddy? Her daddy so did was you a accept? Did you accept Obama is all black? No, I accepted Obama's family. Did I you call Obama a fraud? Uh, that sounds like yes to yeah, me. Yeah. Once I learned that Ob- that Michelle Obama was the first black woman Barack Obama dated in his life, yes. Because I know it was calculated, and I know this lady Kamala Harris. You know Harris, what was calculated? Him dating Ob- Michelle Obama? Oh yeah. What, 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 why would that make it? What His makes that calculated? His entire life after college was calculated, Because he brother. wanted to run for office, and he could not have been president with a white wife. It was calculated. He met her in college. Who? Michelle Obama. No, he didn't. Michelle Bar- Robinson. No, no Barack met was, Michelle in Chicago. He was doing the neighborhood. Yeah, he was doing the neighborhood stuff. He so when he was president of the Princeton Review, he, he did didn't not meet know her Michelle. working as a... No, he was dating Becky. Ha! <laughs> I That's right. He did say he, he met her when he worked up for the firm. And after he got with Michelle, the, the white lady said he was still contacting Becky. Uh-oh. But I voted, I voted for that family. I voted for those two little black girls and that black African-American wife. Kamala Harris got, you know, one of them other people. But why are the two arm. girls black if technically their daddy is half white? So, we, I mean... So really, they have like what and more twenty five percent? No, 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 no. Least no, no, no. black situation. Thank you, thank you. They don't be. <laughs> no, they grew up with a mama from the south side of Chicago. In the White House. So what are we talking about here? Are we talking about? Are we talking about? Uh, uh, I'm talking about heritage and birthright. Are we talking about I don't circumstances care about skin color. as far as the le- the the, le- the, le- the legitimacy of I'm talking way culture? Now. I'm talking culture. Okay, Kamala Harris to me is the same thing as Rachel Dolezal. Both of them went to Howard. But what oh. makes exactly what makes oh, her a fraud Rachel though? Because she grew up, she grew up under the they black experience. Like no, she, she did not. She grew up with her white no. mother in Canada. She grew up in Oakland. No, she did not. She moved to Oakland after she lived in Canada. Look up the lady's story. Don't just see a, li- a lady that look yellow and think that she's your. So what you call Drake? Huh? What you call ah. Drake? Drake is a Jew from <laughs> Canada. Man. So you Straight don't identify up. Drake as black Man, either. hell no. no. They letting him run around and say the N-word. No, I don't. So what do you call... Uh, <laughs> 100% I do not. Is his dad not black? His dad is a Jamaican, yes. But he grew up with his white mama. Drake was at the bar mitzvah. You remember the video? But you said hell yeah, his heritage. Well, that's, like you, you said, that's culture. No, I mean culture. Culture. Because technically culture. my great-grandfather is white. But yes. I, I grew up all the way black. You didn't, you didn't grow up white. You grew up in Third Ward. <laughs> Drake grew up in Toronto with a Jewish lady. Drake does not have the black experience. I'm sorry. Hey, hey. I don't buy it. No. Hey. No, no, so no. So what about Cory where, Booker? Where is the line? No, not Cory Booker. Corey, no, definitely not Cory Booker. Number one, my thing is, okay, because I'm going to ask it on Facebook tonight. I'm going to ask my Indian Facebook friends. Why don't you guys uh, embrace Kamala I Harris? Did. Why is she the first black woman to do this and the first black woman to do that? Why is she not the first Indian woman? Why do we have to accept them? Mm. Why do they come to us? Hold up. Kaepernick's just as much white as he is black. Why is he not white? I feel that's Why do totally we have to different. accept him? Hmm? Why, we can't one drop people right into us and then they come in and they take from us. Kamala Harris, everything she ever did was against black people. So Everything. So. This is a fraud. She's, she's an not imposter. the best example. So, okay. So you're, you're, you're preferring. I'm saying, come to me saying, hey. The same way Bill Clinton or anybody else would do. Hey, I'm not one of you. This she's coming as one of us. Like she gets. That's because she is one of us. No, she's not. Say, look here. 
I'm not one of you, but I understand. What I have makes this her not that, one of us? That's what I'm not understanding. Because she's an Indian, uh, half uh, Jama- and Jamaican does not she necessarily did not mean grow black. up in a black household. Okay. Jamaica is a multicultural is society. Is. So you're saying you only the only way you can be considered black is if you live through the black experience. Is that what you're saying? What I'm trying to like. understand. And you I know white people have lived I'm through worse black experiences. You holistically. No, white is that people what you're have saying? lived through <laughs> redneck white experiences, which is fine because I. Worse I do feel I bad for through. poor whites. I do. But don't come to me saying I'm black. I'm one of you. But no, you're not. None of your actions, none of your culture shows me that. You're an imposter. Well, what about her stance on 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 uh, prison reform and, and things? She just of that got nature? there. She was throwing Negroes in prison left and right as Attorney yeah. General. She was out in California. She's, 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 she's was, not the best example. She's the Attorney General. <laughs> no, no, I'm, 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 I'm really trying to understand. She's I'm the, not. I'm. I'm trying to understand him. But, but I don't see. T-